start out from a line that the, the whole song gets built around. Bobby McGee was uh, uh, the guy who owned, uh, Fred Foster owned the record company and the publishing company that I was working for and he, he said, I got a song title for you, uh, me and Bobby McGee, you know, and uh, I was trying to impress him because I had just started writing for him. so. So I tried to write one off of that, and uh, I've never been able to write by assignment like that. So I, I, I was working in the Gulf of Mexico at the time, and I, I hid from him for about three months. But the lines kept going over my head, you know, good enough for me and Bob McGee, and eventually the whole thing came together. Please do not forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload next. The world woke up to sad news. Chris Christopherson, the iconic singer-songwriter and actor, had passed away at the age of 88. It was a moment that made millions stop and reflect on the life of a man who had touched so many with his music, words, and presence. Chris was born on June 22, 1936, in Brownsville, Texas. His family had deep military roots, his father was a general in the U.S. Army. Because of this, young Chris grew up moving around a lot. But even as a child, Chris was different. He was smart, curious, and had a love for words that would shape his life. While his family pushed him toward a career in the military, Chris had other dreams. He loved music and writing. Even as he studied at Oxford University on a Rhodes Scholarship, one of the most prestigious scholarships in the world, he felt the pull of music. But like many young men of his time, he felt the weight of expectation. So, he followed his father's footsteps into the Army. Chris became a helicopter pilot and served in the U.S. Army for several years. But the whole time, music was calling to him. After leaving the Army, he made the bold decision to pursue his dreams. He packed up and moved to Nashville, Tennessee, the heart of country music. Life wasn't easy for Chris in Nashville. He worked as a janitor at Columbia Studios, sweeping floors, cleaning up after recording sessions, and doing whatever odd jobs he could find. But Chris wasn't discouraged. He knew he was close to the music world and believed that someday, his songs would be heard. He spent his free time writing songs, hoping one of them would be picked up by a big name in country music. He even famously landed a helicopter in Johnny Cash's yard to get the legendary singer's attention. Whether or not that story was exaggerated, it was a symbol of Chris's determination and passion. That determination paid off when some of the biggest names in country music started recording his songs. Me and Bobby McGee, sung by Janis Joplin, became a massive hit. Suddenly, the world knew Chris Christopherson, not as a janitor or a struggling songwriter, but as one of the most talented and poetic voices in country music. His songs were raw and full of emotion. They spoke of love, loss, struggle, and the human experience. He captured what it felt like to be alive in a way that few others could. Sunday Morning, Come and Down, sung by Johnny Cash, was another song that resonated deeply with people. It told the story of loneliness, longing, and the search for meaning. As his songs became hits, Chris's own singing career took off. He released albums that were loved by fans and critics alike. 
He wasn't just a songwriter anymore. He was an artist in his own right, someone who could stand on stage and hold an audience captive with his voice and guitar. But Chris wasn't content with just being a singer-songwriter. He wanted to explore other creative avenues, and so, he turned to acting. Once again, he found success. He starred in films like A Star is Born with Barbara Streisand, a role that earned him a Golden Globe. His rugged good looks and genuine, heartfelt performances made him a favorite in Hollywood. Over the years, Chris balanced his careers in music and film. He performed all over the world, bringing his songs to life on stage. In his acting, he took on roles that were often gritty, reflecting the same realism that he brought to his music. Though Chris found fame and success, his life wasn't without its struggles. He faced battles with alcohol and personal demons, like so many others who live their lives in the spotlight. But Chris was always honest about his struggles, and in many ways, they made him more relatable. He wasn't perfect, he was human. Through it all, his love for music never faded. Even in the toughest times, he would return to his guitar and write. It was his way of making sense of the world, of processing the highs and lows of life. As Chris got older, he stepped back from the limelight. But his impact on music and film never diminished. He became a legend, someone whose work inspired generations of artists. Younger musicians, from country to rock, spoke of how Chris's songs shaped their own careers. In his later years, Chris struggled with health issues. He faced memory problems and other complications, but he never lost his love for storytelling. His family stood by him, and he spent his final years surrounded by the people who loved him most. When the news broke of Chris Christopherson's passing at 88, there was a collective sense of loss. Fans, fellow musicians, and actors all paid tribute to the man who had given so much through his art. But Chris's legacy wasn't one of sadness. It was a celebration of life. Through his songs, he had explored the full range of human emotions, love, joy, sorrow, hope, despair, and in doing so, he had made people feel less alone. His music was a reminder that, no matter what life throws at you, there is always beauty to be found. As people remembered Chris, they listened to his songs once more. The familiar chords of Me and Bobby McGee filled the airwaves, and people sang along, remembering the man who had given the world so much. Chris Christopherson's life was not perfect, but it was full. He was a man who followed his heart, even when it led him down difficult paths. He wasn't afraid to take risks or to be vulnerable. And in doing so, he left behind a body of work that will continue to inspire and comfort people for generations to come. In his music, Chris often spoke of the importance of staying true to yourself, of embracing the journey, no matter where it leads. As fans across the world mourned his passing, they also celebrated the fact that Chris had lived a life of authenticity. He had pursued his dreams, faced his struggles, and shared his heart with the world. In the end, Chris Christopherson wasn't just a singer-songwriter or an actor. He was a storyteller, someone who could take the raw experiences of life and turn them into something beautiful. And that is a legacy that will never die. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to daily updates and never miss a video.